Hey guys, welcome back to another video, uh, another AFK Arena video to be precise. Oh, I'm gonna try to make this video as short and sweet as possible, but I'm gonna answer the question. So this game has been out for a few days, Booms. <laughs> Can I still be competitive? Well, the answer is yes. If you look at my screen, uh, well, since the first video that I made was like two days ago, there has been another seven servers. Okay, not really another server, seven. Uh, there has been seven servers, okay, so 54, 60, okay, that's seven, okay, that's not six, that's seven. Okay, uh, yes, you can still be competitive. All you need to do is just wait for a new server to come out, and then you'll be playing with brand new players. Not really brand new players, probably players who have experience before, and players who they want to re-roll, and that's the point that I'm making now. How are you going to beat the early game? Uh, what you're going to do is, if you're going to if you're gonna like really invest very little money or nothing at all to win at a PvP game, you really need to be very, very good at your decision making. And what I mean is that one of the decision making is to decide whether is your account good enough. So right off the get go, you create a new account, um, and then you're like, "Wow, is this character good? Uh, if it's not so good, you know what?" I, I put like 20 times, I don't really think this character is so good. These characters that I got are so good. You know what, just reroll. Just wait for a new server to come around and jump onto the new server. So, you know what, in two days there has been like seven servers. So who knows, maybe like in the next hour or so, uh, a new server may pop up. So do check back every, I would suggest every 30 minutes. But uh, if you are like busy and stuff like that, you know what, check back every hour. If a new server pops up, get right into it, create a new account, and get off from the get-go. Uh, the thing about idle games is that the person who, uh, well, the early bird catches the worm, typically until someone else spends money and then the system fluctuates. Okay, so that is re-rolling. I mean, it's not really re-rolling, but it's like creating an account until you're happy with it. So for me, I created four different accounts and I'm only happy with the fourth. So I stuck with it, that's why I bothered changing my profile to remind myself that this is the account that I want. And yes, that is Athalia, one of the best characters in the game, that's why I stuck to it. Alright, and how else can you win in the early game? There is another thing, uh, how else you can win in the early game is to... What, what I would suggest you to do is to just push your campaign as far as possible, just keep grinding it from the start, just go all the way campaign until you keep dying. And then that's when you know that you need to move on to the King's Tower. And that's when you push the King's Tower as far as you can uh, until you're happy or until you can't. Then you move back to campaign. And then after that, when you're stuck again, move back to the Dark Forest uh, King's Tower. Why I say that is because uh, campaign gives you stuff like mana. I think this is mana, I'm not sure. Is it called mana? Hero experience, right? Hero experience. You know, I just call it mana for, for simplicity. It gives you mana, it gives you gold. Um, this is where you need to upgrade your character's levels, it's very important. However, King's Tower, they give you... Can I get the... Yeah, they give you... Whoa, 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 whoa this is nuts. Uh, they give you Hero's Essence, or can, I'm just going to call it uh, Hero Dust. Simplicity, it looks like dust. It gives you Hero Dust, which is, which is meant to break some boundaries in your character, like growth. Like at level 10, you need hero dust. At level 20, you need hero dust. At level 40, level 60, level 80, you need hero dust. Okay, so that's why interchange, interchange these two modes, and then you'll be okay. <clears throat> and who should you upgrade? Uh, primarily, don't look at my don't look at my account. It's already jacked. Uh, I already reached a point of saturation where I can just expand outwards. However, who you want to focus on would be probably something okay. like. Uh, the like the one damagey character that will really sweep the field for you. This is really good for at least the first day. Uh, so just like focus all, or if not most of your resources on one, if not two characters that are really good. So you could focus your resources on uh, Shamira, uh, Kasos, even us. Uh, Severus, I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Okay, Severus. He's wow, this guy is really insane. He's even better than Natalia. Legit, he's even better than Natalia. 
Uh, just, you know what? Whoever does the most damage, put your resources on him. Move on. Uh, yes, that is, a, that is a really, really important arena strategy. If you check out the arena, you will notice that a lot of people are doing the same thing. Especially in like the first 12 hours or so, you see that most of the top ranking players, they have one character that is really high level. And that's because you unlock the... Oh, not this guy. You unlock the... You unlock skills like the further you go. So this is like... I unlock the fourth skill at level 61. And I unlock the third skill at level 41. So you, you want to push for all these milestones. Alright, moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay, so when you are doing the Arcane Labyrinth, I'm sorry I already cleared it, which is like the second labyrinth actually. Uh, what you want to focus on is to fight as much as possible. Fight as many people as possible. That is the only way for you to get uh, Arcane Coins as a kind of loot basis, not not talking about like the, the quest rewards. Yeah, as like uh, every two days, you know, that's how you get your arcane coins by doing the fights. So I know like some games they they tend to like they tend to make it seem like oh when you have to fight it's like a bad thing, you know. But for this game it is not so. You get mana, you get gold, you get uh dust, you get a lot of not dust. Do you get dust? I'm not sure. But you also get relic, and relics are meant to further boost your character stats by a whole lot. So you know you're not you're not actually losing out by going for fights. You know you're actually winning. Um, you're actually improving yourself. So sometimes I even avoid picking a new hero, but instead I rather fight. All right. And how do you pick your heroes? You base on your own existing lineup. So for example, for me, my strong point would be light type heroes, typically light type, or if not maulers. Right. This is a mauler. And I, I call this a light type, okay? It's not light, it's a light bearer, but light. Uh, so I tend to pick light types first as a priority, followed by mollers. I usually get, get either one or two, okay? So that's how I tend to pick my heroes. And sometimes, you know, I just skip it altogether and I just pick the fight instead. Or sometimes I skip the heal, the fountain, and I pick the fight instead because I know I'm gonna win and I know it's gonna be better off in the long run because like right now I am like, just so close to getting another elite see I have like 41,000 right now so yeah uh, find a labyrinth this is one way for you to beat the early game uh, people tend to avoid fighting don't do it engage just engage okay uh, an uh, one more thing is do not be afraid to use your speed ups like if you hit a wall you hit a wall in the game and you think like, oh man, it's, it's like so early on in the game, I don't think I'm going to use it, you know what, just use it. Just use it. If you're at a wall, just use it. Uh, it, it doesn't make a difference between waiting two hours for you to pass the wall by just waiting or just using this. But you know what, I don't really need gold. Gold is not, it's not very crucial for me right now. I'm not spending a lot of it. I have like a lot of excess gold, 1.3 million. Okay. And... One more thing, one more strategy for you to consider is that by level 20, you will be able to get a single $1 pack. A $1 pack that gives you this guy. An elite Hogan. Uh, in my opinion, this is really a very good bang for buck because not only do you get Hogan, you also get Estrilda. Estrilda here. Um, I'm, I'm currently not using her, but for $1, I get Estrilda and Hogan. That's a really good bargain. And also, not to mention that because of the event, on your second day, you will get an extra Hogan as well. So as you can see, I just hit my second day, because it's still 23 hours for the third day. Um, it's as good as getting a Elite Plus Hogan just for $1, and as well as an Estrilda. Really good deal. I would suggest if you're going to do that, if you're going to like spend... If you are just gonna like think of spending like one dollar for the developers, this is where you put that one dollar. And yes, that's it. Uh let me see what else do I have. Oh yes, do not forget to do not be afraid to reset your heroes. Like for example, I used to use Estruda, I used to use like uh Namora. I have Namora, oh my goodness. I have supposedly the best healer in the game. She's apparently the best. I, I do agree, her heal is insane, however, I realize that, you know what, 
I really wanted to use Servius and this guy, but if I use her as well, I'm gonna like lose out on like the team buff. The team buff is really important, like the 10% HP or like the 20% HP and stuff like that. So you know what, I decided, ah, Minimax, I'm just gonna reset her and dump her resources into this guy and this guy instead, and I am so much better off. Okay, uh, also I highly recommend, highly, highly, highly recommend that when you decide on building a team, you know, if you're rerolling your account and stuff like that, try your best to make sure that you get some kind of faction buff. Uh, do aim for this, it's really really important, it makes a huge difference to your playstyle. This 15% attack and 20% HP, it really goes a very long way. A very very long way. Okay, Even if it means having a level 1 character in place, uh, like a level 1, uh, what's that, a green character in place just so that you maximize your faction buff, go for it. That makes a lot of sense. Oh wait, this, these guys don't belong here. Uh, I need your call. Yeah, like you that. <clears throat> yes. So, make the right decisions in this game. Okay, so... Alright. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done with how to beat the early game. Because these, these are just like the, the things that you really need to know. Oh man, this is so noisy. So, so noisy. Uh, okay, okay, come on. Alright, I reached the end of my video in terms of the content. However, um, I'm gonna do a giveaway event for you guys. It's the first time I'm ever doing a giveaway, even in my own real life. My whole life, I've never given away an account before. However, I decide, you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give away this really awesome account. Uh, just, just 24 hours old. Uh, okay, 25 hours old. And the rules of the game is simple. All you need to do is leave a comment down below. Leave a joke. A joke comment for me. Also, right now, I'm undergoing like my finals and stuff like that. Uh, I need some humor. I need to, like, you know, Reddit is kind of boring already. You know, like Reddit jokes. It's always the same few jokes. Give me something fresh. Give me something new. Give me, make me laugh. And also, leave a thumbs up. That's number two. Uh, and number three, subscribe to my channel. And by the time I get 30 subscribers, I will choose a winner to give this account to. Uh, this account is really, really good. I'm just gonna like give you the raw statistics of this account, okay? So uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine unique elites. And on top of that, three of them are elite you classes. Stand against me. Uh, this kind of counts, okay? Because I, I paid a dollar for it. So t in total, I have. Uh, 12, 12 elites worth of characters. Each of these elite plus are worth 2 elites because in order to get an elite plus, you need to sacrifice another elite to get an elite plus. So a total of 12 elite characters on a 24-hour old account. It, I, I, based on my experiences, this will go really, really far. Uh, at least till mid-game. I don't know about end-game. An endgame is like what, above 160? That's crazy, I've seen some theories like that. You you probably should have came across it as well. Uh, Alright, with that said, all the best to you guys uh, for your for your jokes, I guess. <laughs> uh, all the best to winning this account. Uh, what I need to see are a joke, a like, and a subscribe. I will check. <laughs> And of course, when I reach 30 extra subscribers, then I will announce the winner on this video itself in the comments down below. And I will contact you personally on how to go about transferring this account to your possession. Alright, that's it. That's the end of my video and I'll see you in the next one.